pussy poppin' You ain't got shit, you ain't, you ain't got shit What the fuck, but I'm real, that's sick Hey fam, Aaliyah here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video where I will be doing this Pineapple Paradise Summer Glam Makeup Look. I was very inspired by one of my subscribers. If I can find her message, she sent me a message or a tweet. I really forget. But if I, if I can find it, I will shout you out, girl. I will put it in the screen. I just really have to find it. I hope I can find it. because I forgot her name and that's really horrible and I really try to like give credit whenever I can but this was inspired by a request they wanted me to do like a pineapple paradise uh, summer look and I was like oh my gosh yes I'm down for it so I mean it's not like I look like a pineapple but you know the colors were kind of inspired by like the tropics okay like summer the beach the rainforest the tropical weather Mexico Cuba so I put together this glam look we have highlighter yellow in the inner corner blue in the center and glitter on the outer wing as well as glitter liner covering the cut crease and orange in the crease okay yes i just described my whole makeup look so without further conge if you are interested to see how i created this very tropical paradise pineapple summer glam makeup look then stay tuned keep on watching and i hope you enjoy this video <laughs> Alright you guys, we're going to start off by highlighting our brow bones, and I am taking the ABH Amrezy Highlighter with the Maybelline Master Chrome in the shade Molten Gold. And this, of course, is the Sigma E30. If you already knew, you already knew. Use a real one. Anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and highlight my brow bone and then move on to shadow. We're going to be using the Morphe 35B, which is sadly discontinued. Morphe, what's up? Anyways, I'm taking that orange shade. This is a Morphe E22 brush, and we're going to pack that onto the crease area so we can get the best pigmentation, the most opaque pigmentation. And then we're going to go ahead and blend that out. So I'm just packing it on, and then with the same brush, after all of the color is off of the brush, we're just going to go ahead and diffuse the edges, defocus the edges, and blend those those edges out into a seamless a seamless blend honey Moving on, I'm going to take, okay, y'all, she may be canceled, but I mean, I forgot when I used it. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> take the Kat Von D Whiteout Lock It Concealer. Find me another white concealer, y'all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut out my crease. I do have an in-depth cut crease tutorial, but you know, she's, she's kind of old, okay? I was a little rusty and dusty back then. But anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and cut my crease. This is a very precise lip brush by Morphe Academy. Came in a set so i will link this set down below but it is up to you to go ahead and find that brush because she does not have a name next i'm gonna go into the abh prism palette oh she's real cute i'm gonna go ahead and take that shade sphere it's like a highlighter lime green yellow shade i'm just gonna go ahead and pack that onto the inner corner with the morphe m508 brush I don't know what was up with this palette. I thought this palette was bomb, but wow, did this color just not want to stick. And I did not even set, like, the concealer. I didn't set it at all. It just didn't want to stick. So I had real trouble, like, blending this particular shade. But, you know, girl, we're just going to pack it on. We're going to face tune it for them photos, girl, and it's going to look okay. Anyways, I'm going back into the Morphe 35B palette. This is like a sky blue, baby blue shade. I'm going to pack that onto the center lid with the same brush, the Morphe M508. We're going to pack that on to get the best pigmentation, the most opaque pigmentation we can achieve with this color. And then we're going to start to blend it into that highlighter yellow lime green shade, which was very difficult. So, if you're watching me blend it just wasn't blending seamlessly at seamlessly at all one because these were two different shadow formulas from two different brands 
and two like the yellow girl it was just that the, the i don't know the formula just wasn't the best moving on i didn't want to show you guys my struggle i'm gonna take the Too faced glitter glue and this violet vase chunky glitter in the shade amor i will link it down below i will link everything down below in the order in which i use it and i'm just going to put that on the outer half or the outer third of my lid girl to complete the entire to complete what do, what do you call it to complete the trio anyways you guys see what i'm doing i'm just packing it onto the outer wing yes and that kind of completes the upper the the shadow girl what am i saying i don't even know but i will say be careful with this chunky glitter because it got in my eye and it scratched my eye okay i don't think it was cosmetic grade like violet voss honey Anyways, we're going to move on to this NYX glitter liner. Um, you can get it at Ulta. And I'm just going to carefully line the cut crease area because it looked like something was missing. So I just had to finish off the eye. And there we go. I'm going to do my face off camera after my face is beat and I took the scarf off. I'm just going to finish off the eye with the lower lash line. So I'm taking a Morphe M432 brush and I'm just going to pack on the orange shade into the inner half and then the blue shade onto the outer half and next i'm gonna go into the shade pyramid in the same abh prism palette and pop that into the center lower lash line and also into the inner corner with the same sigma e30 brush i apply some lashes off camera i don't quite remember the name so they will be down below and this completes my pineapple paradise summer glam makeup tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give this video a thumbs up and before i close out this video i do want to go ahead and give a post notification shout out to kayla edwards thank you so much for having my post notifications on i appreciate you so much i appreciate you being subscribed to my channel girl and supporting me if you would like an appreciation shout out in one of my videos and sure you are subscribed to my channel channel okay join my family tap that bell to be notified of my future uploads because you know youtube youtube be playing out here and hashtag notification gang or squad after your comment i love you guys so much and until next time always remember uh, to serve honey and i will see you in my next video bye <laughs>